Right, here we go on question 13. This is tough. Um, lots to read through to begin with. And then you're trying to see, right, what have we been given here? This thing here is the rate at which the volume is changing. So this is the dV by dt. And it's negative because it's leaking. So I'll put that in there. The question is asking us to find out what dH by dt is. So we're also going to need, here's the volume formula, we also need V equals one third pi R squared H. We're going to need to know what dV by dH is. Now what's the issue? The issue is there's an R in there. We need to get rid of that R. Right, how do we do that? Well, look, R is just a linear representation of H. It's going four up a height, and this bit here is 2.5. So the radius is a proportion of the height here, isn't it? In fact, the radius is 2.5 over 4 times the height. The radius is 5 eighths of the height. That needs to go in here. So I've got volume equals 1 third pi 5 eighths h squared h. Tidying that up, I've got 1 third pi times by 25 over 64 h cubed. And now I can differentiate this. dv by dh is times by 3, so that's going to cancel out the third. So we've got 25 pi over 64 h squared. We're going to combine this with this. Let's make some space. So we're trying to find out what dH by dt is. That's what we were asked to find out. dH by dt is dH by dV times dV by dt. dH by dV is this thing upside down. Let's be careful how we do that. We've got a 64 on the top, and we've got a 25 pi h squared on the bottom. And dV by dt, this one here, so this is this one, times by minus pi over 5, 1, 2, and then I've got a root h there. I'm going to put that as h to the power of a half. Well, the pi's cancel. Um, the 64... Sixty four goes into five one two eight times. We are virtually there. The H by DT is equal to so I've got twenty five times eight on the bottom, that's a two hundred. I've got the minus from over there, and I've got H to the half divided by H squared, so it's H to the three over two. Is that what we wanted? I really don't know. Let's have a look. So minus one yeah, I've just got times both sides by that, have I? Yeah, I made a little mistake there, didn't I? Look, the the h to the half, h to the squared, that should be h to the minus 3 over 2. And so I'm just going to then times both sides by that. So h to the 3 over 2 dh by dt equals minus 1 over 200. So that tiny mistake isn't worth me going back over 4 minutes. Can I do it again? Look, so we've got h to the half divided by h squared is h to the minus 3 over 2. I forgot that minus there when I did it. There, I'll do the next part in another video.